Wang from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can draw a quadratic graph correctly. But let's take a look at the question on the board. Draw y equals to bracket x plus 1, bracket x minus 3, showing that x and y intercepts if any. Alright, I'm going to write down the first thing that you should be doing is to determine the shape. What do I mean by that? Will it be a happy face or will it be a sad face? Now, how do we tell? The shape of the graph will depend on the coefficient of the highest term. In this quadratic equation, it will be our x squared term. However, in this equation, you will see that there is no obvious term that you can see over here unless you expand. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be expanding the first term. x times x will give me a x squared. And that will be sufficient. So, since I know the coefficient of x squared is a positive number, in this case it's in fact a positive one, I know the shape of my graph will be a happy face. Just adding the two dots to make sure that it's happy to all of you. Now, the second thing that we need to find will be our x-intercepts. How do we find our x-intercept? You set the value of y to be 0. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to share with you a shortcut. Many students, when they actually reach this step, what they will do is they will usually expand. But in this case, you don't have to. Why? Because it is clearly factorized into the two factors. So what we do is we just conclude x plus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0 and therefore with that you get two values of x and these are your two x intercept all right so let me just do a quick summary there is no need for you to expand save time in the exam third point after you find your x intercept next you want to find your y intercept how do we do that you just simply set the value of x to be zero so this is the equation y equals to 0 plus 1 0 minus 3, so this is 1, and this is minus 3, so it gives you a value of minus 3. So with these three things, we are ready to draw the quadratic graph. Focus carefully on how I go about drawing the quadratic graph. Happy face. X intercept. We have 1, which is minus 1, and we have the other one, which is 3. Last step, I'm going to show you the y-intercept. Now, this is the part. Where do I draw my y-axis? Would it be closer to minus 1, or would it be closer to 3? And this is a very crucial point. By logic itself, I think all of you will understand that our y-axis will be closer to minus 1. So I go about drawing it this way. Label. Put in the origin, put in the value of your y-intercept, and it all makes sense over here. It must tally with the value that we have calculated. And last but not least, we're just adding the equation of this graph. Perfect. This will be how we draw a quadratic graph, showing the x-intercept and y-intercept clearly. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you in the next video.